So while I'm mixing this resin, I wanted to show you. There is the handprints of my oldest son. I will do one also with my youngest son. And to do this, I just took one of my golden metallic powder. You can use mica powder, whatever you like, and paint on. And then you just use a regular pencil and just brush it on their hands and push it in the resin or into the mold and then you pour the resin on top of that and that should stick to the resin and I will also do three of them with my youngest son's name and birth date because I've done that with my oldest son so I wanted one for myself uh, to hang in the tree and two of them is one if one is for my mom and one is for um, my uh, partner's dad or his parents and my parents and I will do one for me, one for his uh, mom and dad, and one for me and my mom. And then I will also do three or four hands also with my youngest son. You will understand while I'm going, what I'm going to do with it and what I'm doing. Right now I'm just mixing my resin. It's a little bit yellow. Uh, and that's, I don't know why. I haven't had that bottle for a specially long time. Uh, as I told you in one of my old other videos. Uh, it is Vista, Vista Turbo. And I don't know why, but sometimes I get it yellow. And it's lumpy and... I don't know, I, I don't think I will order from Vista anymore. Um, I don't know. Uh, of course, they are heat resistant and all that stuff. That's great. But I think I want to try and find something other, some other resin that is heat resistant and don't have that lumps and yellowness because that's not nice. <laughs> At all and now I will pour some of the resin into another cup I will do that upside I'm sorry and that's because I don't I can't I don't want to uh, place it on top of um, my um, my um, mold <laughs> I don't want to get resin until I'm done with it. And for my mom, she likes red and glitter and gold and stuff. So I will, I will do one red with this holographic glitter from the recipe. And there you have the code if you want the same. gorgeous red it's holographic red and i think because i want to use everything of my recipe's red glitter i will use some of this little glitter i got it with some of my resin as a gift 
so i will just pour that in and i will use the whole thing because it's not much into it if i can get this bottle up <laughs> It was kind of hard with gloves on. I'm sorry. Uh, I will need to take them off. To open this little bottle. I think. Now it is open. And I will pour the whole thing into my resin because I don't want it clear I do want it um, opaque with a lot of glitter I just need new gloves I will be back so now I have my gloves on and I will start a little bit more it's a gorgeous and I will link uh, the other um, glitter but you need to buy <laughs> the resin if you want that little tiny bit of glitter you get it as a kit with all of those colors of glitters but I can't recommend I can recommend the resin um, but it's not heat resistant so you know I will have to get that out and first I will pour in this one And this will be the name tag and her hand will be this one because I've already poured a little bit into it by accident so she will get this one and make sure when you touch the resin and try to move it don't touch the mold because you can scratch the color out of it and you can scratch the mold also I think I will just borrow some just regular resin to fill it up a little bit And I just need a tiny bit of glitter in that one too because I don't want to to mix it like that. So I use a tiny bit more of my Larissery red glitter and then just Pour it in.
I just take a little bit of clear tape to clean out um, some of the glitter I accidentally dropped in this mold. And now I will sparkle. We'll keep my gloves on the side here. And open my bottle away from my pieces and I will just take my hand a little bit and spritz it into the top and some of for the bottom and the same for this one and The glitter I use is from a local store, but you can also find something similar in your store, I think. It was... Um, it is a great glitter. I like it. And now I will pour... I will do those two and those two in white, and for that I will use my Resin Pro. It is their white, and I will link it down below in the description box. It is a stunning white, it's really pretty. It's almost like pearl, pearly white. I like it. And now I will pour the others. And I try to pour slowly because I don't want any bubbles in those pieces. And here is my 99% isopropyl alcohol. I poured it into a smaller bottle that has like this spray thing on and just spritz it on. It helps the resin to pop any bubbles, which is great. I don't think I will have enough for the resin, um, that one on top, so I will need to mix more, but I will do that off camera and I will be back when everything is dry and it's time for me to take the next step. Bye for now. Hi guys, now it's time for me to take them out. They are done. And we will see if the handprints are embedded into the resin. And they are. So this is my mom's and this will not fall off because it's embedded into the resin.
I don't know why, but I don't like this one. I like that one better. And here is the white with the handprint. Then just a plain red glitter one. I will put names and dates there. And the last handprint. Uh, I will do my uh, youngest son also. Uh, so stay tuned because I will do it in this video also. Uh, just wait a second and I will do that really soon in the evening here. Um, because I can't do that myself. He can't hold his head up so I will need some help with that. Bye for now. I bet you don't even know my name. But that's okay, I can't blame you You've got better things to worry about Like kissing strangers when you go out Spending time with all your friends Wish I had the guts to ask you out sometime And there is all the hand and footprints done for my youngest son And... I've already mixed my uh, red glitter. Uh, this is my my last batch of red glitter, so I need to order more someday. I really don't think that is enough for two, so I will pour a little bit more. I do have um, fine glitter in red, but not chunky glitter in red. Uh, now I will see which one my mom should get and that handprint I think no that one she can get and This print she can have. And it's okay. I just pour a little bit of just clear resin. And then you can just mix it a little bit. Make sure you don't touch the mold because you will scrape the or take off the mica powder. And This is for me. I will use uh, this shiny, this shiny white. I will just need some baby wipe and dry a little bit of my hands. It 
and then I just pour a little bit into my resin. I got a little bit of resin into no mica powder into my mold here so I will just try to get it out because I really don't want to have it inside I'm sorry for um, not talking in the last part but that's okay and I want this footprint and this handprint and it's okay if they are not fully up with, with the resin because I can just take something and take the sharp edges off and for those two I will do with this Sahara white it's the same as I used for my oldest son's prints And those two are for um, my partner's dad and stepmom. And now I will just spritz it with a little bit of my ice repropyl alcohol and then just let them dry. Bye for now. Hi guys, now it's time for me to take all those out also. Here is my son's footprint. footprint and footprint and here is his hand hand and hand and I will decorate them a little bit 
and then they are finished and I will uh, I will put some vinyl and stuff like that on them and I will be back bye for now here they are all finished up with the dates when I did the handprint prints and footprints and you can leave them like this this is like into the resin now you can also if you want to pour um, a protective layer of resin on top of it I won't do that because it's ornaments so they shouldn't fall off but if you should use it as a coaster or something else I should recommend you to pour um, an extra resin layer and use uh, something that is heat resistant so here they are I do love them. Noel is my youngest son and Pontus is my oldest. And I really hope that you enjoy this. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now. Would you stay till the moonlight? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now till the morning light? Before you turn away, I just want you to know that I didn't throw your stuff away. Before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find, I'm standing right here.